Hey, what's up, bye guys, and welcome to From Ivan, a branching narrative. Now, this is an itch.io game I have bumped into quite a few times, and while I thought it was interesting, I didn't really want to record it, but it's popped up on my radar so many times I decided it was worth taking a look. Is it start? So, first day at MCT. Don't know what that is. Okay. From the desk of someone 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 don't really care hello Ivan oh my god I, I want to do a fake Russian accent because of Ivan uh, welcome to the agricultural software department uh, we look forward to your look forward to your tenor as human resource managers of this for vital fucking damn it I can't speak to this vital branch of the Ministry of Computer Technology. As the human resource manager, you are agricultural software department's first, last, and only defense against low working morale. Oh my god, why do you need so many, uh, what do you want to call those abbreviations? Something something costs thousands of man hours every quarter. Oh my god, it's just the entire page is abbreviations. I'm not reading that. Like, it's all just abbreviations. Your first task as human resource manager is to ensure the peaceful departure of your preceding ex human resource manager. Um, the ex resource manager served us with distinction for 40 years, but a slight dip in her overall productivity score. Mandated her swift replacement by you. Uh, it is vital that this person feels a sense of pride and accomplishment before she is escorted from the building today. Please present her with an appropriate card at your earliest convenience. Greetings, neighbor. So this... So this... Oh my god, there's so much fucking reading. I'm not good with reading. This is embarrassing. You've probably been wondering, where the heck is my January issue of Redshift? Well, your space cadet neighbor, me, hello by the way, got your copy in the mail almost a month ago and just assumed they sent her two by accident. Hope you can forgive me for the slow return of your beloved space periodical. By the way, there's a great article on page 53 about the latest find from BTA6, your neighbor, Natasha. Okay, choose a birthday card for dad, select a farewell card for your previous HR manager, pick out a card to thank Natasha. So it's a birthday card for dad. Traditional birthday, inspirational, uh, cheerful. I'm going to go with another day older, another day wiser. Can I flick through it? Oh, I thought I could flick through it. So happy birthday to the wisest man I know. Select a farewell card for your previous manager. Good luck. What? Good luck in your... I can't understand what that is trying to say. My brain won't work. Your life's an adventure. Your life and adventure by you. Cheerful farewell. Traditional goodbye. You will be missed. Okay, and pick out a card to thank Natasha. I'm not getting a pun. There's supposed to be a pun in this card, I'm guessing. I am not getting it. Cheerful appreciation. There we go. That's our weekly to-do list. Oh, wow. Time went by fast. I was not expecting that. Okay, so it's the 14th now. Oh, God. More reading. 
Mm -mm. To the new kid, thanks for the card, not a bad pick for your first time at bat. A little on the safe side maybe, but if you keep that up, you'll fit right in as the old... Ugh, I'm not reading this. Um, since this is your first week attending, your performance has been monitored and evaluated. I am pleased to congratulate you making a strong start to your career. Um, da -da -da -da, reflect standard values expect from an employee in your position. This performance evaluation is a reminder that you serve a vital function. Studies show that distributing appropriate cards over a period of time has a significant impact on mood, productivity, and long-term outcomes of everyone within the sender's circle of influence. Do not take this responsibility lightly. You are invited to the annual Orlov family reunion. Hi, Ivan. Hope to see you there. Artem. Dad! Dad says, hey kiddo, thanks again for coming over last week. You and your mom cooked me one halibut birthday dinner. Dad puns. Yes. I uh, love the card too. You know just how to butter up your old man. I think this is going to be a good year for me. Things are going well and I'm settled into good routine. No reason to rock the boat at this point. Hope we didn't talk your ear off too much about your sister. You know she's pretty lonely up there on the space station. You really should write her sometime. Speaking of space stuff, I saw this ad in Redshift, and I thought of you. Take a look. Remember that trip we took to London Museum? Uh, you cried so hard when we had to leave. I had to bribe you with that toy telescope from the gift shop to get you out the door. What are have whatever happened to that thing? Anywho, I know you just started a new job, but opportunities like this don't come along all that often. You should go for it. Take a chance for once. I think you'd be a pretty docent job do a pretty docent job p.s did you get the invitation to the reunion looking forward to it don't forget to put in for that week off um just might have the right stuff to become a docent that's where the pun came from uh, at the london museum of cosmonauts learn valuable public speaking and communication skills Teach the cosmonauts of tomorrow. Give guided tours. Uh, now accepting applications. Don't miss out. <sighs> I am not prepared for this much rating. I should have grabbed water or something. Hello, Ivan. Just wanted to let you know I appreciated the card. Because it's always nice to feel appreciated. I know it sounds silly, but I'm glad I met you. I always get a little bit down after the holidays, but now I'm feeling a lot better about things. So thanks to you, thank you for thinking of me. Any chance you know a good spot to watch a meteor shower? Usually I sneak up to the roof, but last month when I got up there for a look at the Geminids, I got a good look at the landlord and his mistress. Oh God. Sorry. I feel sorry for you. Um, needless to say, the roof access door has been chained up tighter ever since, which I think might be against fire code. Anyway, there's going to be a great view of the quadrids on Saturday. I hate to miss two in a row. Any tips for a fellow red shifter would be much appreciated. Office memo. Hello, Ivan. We have determined the cause of the anguished sobbing that has echoed through the building for the last four hours. It appears that Junior Systems Analysis Bogdan Yefremov has recently notified of the untimely passing of his pet cockatoo baby. Messages continue. Please develop, uh, please deploy, deploy, not develop, deploy a card to console him in this trying times if his grief causes further delays to his work he will be replaced so make your choice wisely you're all assholes select a cockatoo cockatoo condolence card wishing you peace With 
deepest sympathy, wishing you peace. Cockatoo. This says sympathy. This is sympathy. May your cockatoo's memory live forever in your heart. I hope I didn't make him even sadder. Uh, pick out an invitation for the meteor shower. You're invited. Get ready for the greatest show. I'm going to go with this one. Because I think it's funny to some extent. Funny enough. Choose a stamp for the letter. Wait, for what letter? I don't even know what it was talking about. Yes, we're in Russia. I want a dog. There we go. For an applicant letter. Okay. Don't tell me we fucked everything up. Thanks for the card. Baby was an amazing cockatoo. I'm sure I'll never forget her. Here's a little photo of her so you can keep her in your memories too. Aw. Thank you. Hello, Ivan. Your time off requested for the week has been received. Its status is under review. Red shifter. Red shift. Hey, you got your red shift in the mail again. I'm starting to think you're letting them screw up just so you have an excuse to talk to me. Thanks again for inviting me to the meteor shower party. I've had a great time talking with you, even though you are objectively wrong about Russia's greatest astronomer. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm not even going to try and read that name. Does he have a creator on the moon named after him? Not even going to try and read that name all the way. Let's hang out again soon, okay? I'm eager to settle this debate once and for all. Hey, kiddo, don't forget about uh, cousin Artem's kindergarten graduation this week. If you don't send a card, your uncle will never let me hear the end of it. Have you talked any more to that cute neighbor girl you're telling us about pps you are a really special guy and any girl would be lucky to have you okay oh i was thinking she was like a neighboring cubicle no she's our actual next door neighbor okay now i i, I was a bit confused there hell ivan doo doo his undying devotion to workspace productivity Boss is unable to find time to secure a card for his wife to note their 10th marriage anniversary. It is vital to the operations that Boss, Boss's sacred union remains blissful and intact. Please select an appropriate romantic card for Boss to deploy tonight. Okay, it was deploy. I thought I read that wrong. To deploy tonight on his dinner date, your discretion... Yes. Then this matter is mandatory. Pick out a congratulations card for cousin. Goofy. Now I'm going to go with the inspirational. The future is yours. I can't wait to see where it takes you. Anniversary card for boss. Happy 10th anniversary to my one true love. For those anniversary, how about... Uh, a manager? I don't even know what... I'm not getting these. I'm not getting these puns, these jokes. It's just, I don't get them. A day with you is an adventure. Loving you always. Traditional. I'm going to go with traditional. Forever and always yours. Pick a spot to bring Natasha. The Cowboys Rose. Authentic American dining. No. I do like a good burger, but no. Psychic Sorcerer. I don't exactly believe in psychics, so fuck off. Book Gazing. No. Picnic. Aren't we going for... Aren't we going to the meteor shower? I thought. So a picnic would make the most sense. I'm not going to psychic. Book gazing and maybe. I'm going to go for a picnic. 
Might be a bit too forward, I guess. Maybe. Dinner with Nat? Who the f thought? Oh, is it... Did he shorten her name from Natasha to Nat? Okay, I guess that works. Congratulations, your application um, has been received. And you have advanced to the next phase of the selection process. For round two, we like to get to know your our applicants a little better, which is why we're asking you to write a personal essay on the following questions. What is your favorite spacecraft and why? All essays bus must be postmarked no later than February 15th. Even if they come, even if they come with cute puppy dog stamps. Good luck and happy writing. Wait, was the puppy a wrong choice? Somehow, oh. As you know, senior wheat thresher, hardware technician. Oh, senior wheat thresher technician. Okay. Has recently was recently injured on the job. Contrary to rumors, these injuries have no connection to cost-cutting measures mandated by the Ministry of Cost-Effective Workplace Safety. Please let workers know that anyone caught spreading this vicious lie will be harshly reprimanded. Just this joyful music next to next to some of the shit these are saying. And please send a card to him at his new address. Severe gruesome injury ward. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying. Just this music next to some of this stuff. Hi, honey. Uh, the diner just called. I got stuck with the late shift again, which means I have to cancel on dinner and a documentary night. Uh, I hate this stupid job. Here's an idea. How about a late dinner at my place? I can swipe some... Don't even want to try and pronounce that. From work, we can curl up on the couch with some wine. Or we can skip dinner and go straight for dessert. Oh my god, I can't believe I just wrote that. Um, thank you for your discretion. Boss's 10th wedding anniversary... Uh, covert deploy, covert card deployment. Your generic, utterly conventional card selection made the rest of the evening seem vibrant and exciting by comparison. For that, you have his deepest thanks. Please accept this inter-office memo as a token of my gratitude. Sincerely, boss. Uncle Ivan. Your card was so cool. Can we go to future town soon? Love, Artem. Choose a get well card for co-workers. Be better soon. It sucks that you're sick. Stay strong. I want to say, say stay strong. Show those... Sniffles who's boss. He's not sniffly. He's fucking eviscerated Pick a tie for dinner with Nat What does that even say? I know I want to know what that says I kind of want to just go with this one because it's quirky Choose a font to use in my planetarium essay Comrade Sans This just seems too cheesy. No. Times New Roman. Times New Russian. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that. Ivan Hand. Wait. Times New Russian. Ivan Hand. Pretentia Nayu. Don't know what the fuck that is. Comrade Sands. Gonna go with Times New Russian. All the, f all the puns in here. Oh, I thought it was going to be over after this month. I'm a bit surprised. Uh, thank you for your, your submission. Your personal essay has been received and will be processed shortly. We'll let you know 
our final decision very soon. In the meantime, keep watching the stars. I regret to inform you that my husband has passed away after succumbing to his injuries. Thanks for your card, though he could not stay strong enough to survive his horrific wounds. This should not be happy music. At least he knew human resource was rooting for him to show those sniffles his boss. I feel like an asshole. Greetings from space. Thanks for sending your letter. I've read every book up there cover to cover. And there's only so many online quizzes a girl can take. It helps to hear all the juicy gossip from back home. Speaking of which, I'm so happy you're applying for that job in London. Remember when you cried like a baby until dad took you to the gift shop? You were born to work in that place, you big nerd. Also, this Natasha girl sounds fantastic. Anyone who who name drops... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that as a, is good in my book. You got to tell her you're applying for that job, though, dummy. I know it's an awkward conversation, but good relationships are built on honesty. Just look at me and Alexia. Anyway, I can't wait to see you and your new lady at the family reunion. I've been saving up all my best stories to embarrass you with. With love from space. Lena. P.S. Oh, you might want to take the train home today. It looks like a lot of traffic from up here. Excellent news. After an exhaustive search, we have found our new senior wheat thresher hardware technician. Please send him a warm welcome card. I still feel like an ass for sending that get strong card. I wish I could have read what was inside before I had to buy it. Oh, I really, I really feel awful. Please note, it is vital that these workers refrain from telling this person about her predecessor's untimely departure and unfortunate demise. We have had enough trouble filling his post, this post as it is. Your mandatory compliance in this matter. Hi, here's a copy of the official Chess Federation rulebook. If you turn to page 16, you'll see that last night you were, in fact, totally wrong. Uh, Empassant may only be played immediately after a pawn advances two squares, or the right to capture in passing is lost. Next time you feel like starting a huge pointless fight over an innocent game of chess, maybe with your next girlfriend, please get your facts straight. Is she breaking up with us? Wait. What? Apology gift. Okay. Choose a welcome card for new co-worker. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the nut house. Welcome to the team. Warm welcome. Salutations. Welcome aboard. You're in a fine addition to our crew. Okay. Pick an apology gift. Flowers. Fish. Opera tickets. Chocolates. I think... I think... Opera? I'm gonna go with opera. Because for some reason I think she's like... My... Initial thought is she likes smart things. If she's going to fight over chess, she's not going to be happy with chocolates or flowers. Maybe a fish. Maybe. Um, your time off request for the week has been reviewed. Your request is denied. So looking forward to Valentine's Day. I can't believe next week will be our one month anniversary. I know it's nerdy. But I just wanted to say I'm happy you came into my life. Here's to month number two. And may more come. Full of deep conversations. 
Long nights of stargazing, taking chess way too seriously. Dear Ivan, they have reviewed your application. I am very sorry to inform you that you are unable to offer you a position in our program at this time. This year we received applicants from thousands of well-qualified of well-qualified candidates across the Soviet Union. Please know that your that our decision says much more about the limited number of positions available than they do about the qualifications of any given candidate. Thank you again for your interest in the Museum of Cosmonautics. We wish you the best of luck for future endeavors. Shit. Most glorious of days. Blah, blah, blah. So-and-so is here. This day is here. All across our motherland, tireless, hardworking bosses are being honored and celebrated by their adoring subordinates. All workers are hereby granted 20 extra minutes of work time to show their boss some appreciation and love. Don't forget to send your boss a cards that he'll never forget. I really want to send resignation, but I don't. If I had that other job, fuck it. This place is awful. Like, they killed a dude. They fucking killed a dude. Dad, I was so great getting to see you at the family reunion. After you left, everyone was saying that what a great couple you two make. Keep an eye out on little cousin, though. I think he has a crush on your girl. Sorry to hear you didn't land the museum gig. I think you know you would have done a docent job at it. Did I make that joke already? Speaking of jobs, I have some news. I checked in with my buddy at the campus transportation department. And he says they've, they'd love to hire you to show up Monday to the maintenance supervisor office. Ask for Peter and mention my name. He'll get you started with your paperwork. I know washing vans isn't the cushiest gig, but look on the bright side. You've got a great new relationship, a roof over your head, and at least you're not at Agrisoft anymore. Plus, we'll be working together, dad and lad. Hey, you want to ride the bus to school with me? From Ivan. That was an interesting experience. I have to say that. I feel like I made some bad choices, but honestly, the one I'm happiest with was saying fuck you to the boss. I still feel bad for sending that stay strong card. I really do. I really honestly feel bad for that. I I really do. Like, I'm happy with how it turned out, except for that. Except for that one bit. Anyway, I am going to end it here. I really did enjoy that. Um, so, I really want to start doing some more itch.io games, a bit more free games. Um, honestly, I think it's where the channel started, and I think it's where the channel needs to go again. I really do love Scrap Mechanic and stuff like that. But I like to show off these indie games, these games that are a bit less well-known and games that just people did for the sake of making games. And I just want to play them for the sake of playing them. So I'm going to end it here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.